Welcome back. Amazon is opening a new brick and mortar store featuring its best selling products. Jerry Willis with the details now. Jerry. Maria, good to see you. Amazon opening a new brick and mortar store. The store in Manhattan called Amazon Four Star will sell devices, consumer electronics, kitchen, home products, toys, books, and games, a whole long list of things. Only the products that customers have rated four stars and above on Amazon.com are top sellers, new or trending locally. That's what they're selling. Amazon Four Star will offer Prime members the same prices on online while non-members will pay the list price. We've seen that before. Keep in mind, though, that the star rating may be less helpful than you think. According to The Verge, the average rating of all products on Amazon is 4.4 stars, and collectively the products in the store have earned more than 1.8 million five-star customer reviews. So the, the middle is pretty high anyway. Uh, the store will also have new and trending items and bestsellers regardless of review scores. There will also be items that Amazon users tag as most wished for and others that are trending around NYC and frequently bought together. In short, it's going to be a whole lot like shopping online, except that it will be virtual. And one of the cool things about this, they have like little digital tags for the price that change over time and can change in real time, telling you what the average price is that people pay for this and what you're, the discount you're getting at Amazon. Wow. So the store opens today in New York? Yes, that's right. Soho. Uh, in Soho, 70, 72 Spring Street. It's interesting to see that they're opening brick and mortar. I know. Well, they've got like a dozen bookstores, and they're doing these go stores. And I, I think you got to stop calling them the online retailer, right, because they're moving more and more and more into real stores. Yeah, I guess people look at this, and they might say they're taking over the world. Now they're going to dominate brick and mortar, too. But really, maybe it's an expression of the fact that they do not have a a durable online monopoly. I mean, if they feel the need to expand in the brick world, you know, maybe the uh, the monopoly isn't so or so strong. They also need a place to store things, right? Warehouse. Um, <laughs> I know. Yeah. I mean it because yeah. you know, just for to be close to New York addresses to to deliver there. That's smart. Because for a long time, they were also looking for warehouse space. No, I don't see them, Amazon as being back on its heels in any way. I see them opening these stores because there's an even greater opportunity to get individuals to buy more yeah. than they already do. We were talking about Bed Bath & Beyond stock being down so much. Bed Bath & Beyond, the last one I went into, it was well, filthy and disgusting. They had nothing in stock that I needed to buy. It's turned into a, a quasi grocery store. What I left Bed Bath and I Beyond, like Bed Bath and Beyond. Went I on to went on to Amazon and actually bought pillows, these sweet night bamboo <laughs> adjustable bed pillows that Amazon pitched to me. I didn't know anything about them. They're mm. filled with foam, but I went straight from Bed Bath and Beyond to Amazon mm. and bought something that Bed Bath and Beyond doesn't even sell. Well, there are categories of stuff that you actually want to touch and feel before you buy it. And I think this is, you know, they're, they're experimenting with what would work. They've got the branding. People know the name. They trust Amazon. So why not do real world stores where, you know, people actually want to, you know, taste, touch and feel. And I like, I like the pillows. idea that it's four star, the best products, because that alone might lure me into the store. I want to see what's selling hottest on, on Amazon. Well, like pillows, you need to try them out. Throw one on the floor, just lay down, see yeah. how it feels. Yeah, that's how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, thank you. Amazon shares are, as you see, flat in the pre-market.